Well, it certainly has been a challenging time for so many people here and across the world. And one thing that certainly keeps our spirits high, of course, besides shopping, is entertainment. And joining us live is one of Australia's most successful female country singers and female artist of the year at the Golden Guitar Awards, Amber Lawrence. Morning. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> nice to see you here in the studio. Thank you so much for coming here on Boxing Day. How was your Christmas? Oh, look, it was good. And it was very easy to come into the studio because I could leave all the mess and say, <laughs> when I get back, <laughs> let's have that tidy. You've got a lot of work to do, yes. <laughs> exactly. well, let's hope so, yeah, right? Yeah. And um, <laughs> congratulations, you've got your album here, one yeah. of many uh, Christmas albums. Mm but one that you just launched and um, I mean it's just so fantastic you've been in the industry for years and years yeah. and clearly so successful how did your Christmas album go did you play it at home as well oh no of course not oh. um, but <laughs> Aussie Aussie Christmas um, so it was a re-release this year because it went out of print a few years ago but it's been a song that's been played in schools now for the last five years at Christmas you know every about November I get the emails have you got a karaoke track for Aussie Aussie Christmas we're doing it for our end of year and it was just on a whim I wrote this song six years ago because how many people say we don't have enough songs about Australian Christmas so uh, we talk about barbecues and kangaroos and and of course the lyrics are Aussie Aussie Christmas oi 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 of course <laughs> no it's, it's interesting fun. I know because we were talking about that uh, you know looking overseas and having white Christmases and yeah. you know being in the cold but it's perfect because um, you know we don't really see snow in Australia yeah that's it <laughs> and Christmas, look I anyway. mentioned the Akubra hat mm -hmm. and uh, yeah it's just uh, to be honest of all the hundreds of songs I've written and recorded I'm really so probably most proud of Aussie Aussie Christmas because it's made its way into people's Christmas soundtrack you know mm -hmm. I remember as a kid driving up to Foster or whatever and you'd have that album on that the whole family sang along to and that's what I wanted to recreate for for you know Australian families today is to have that one song that mum and dad grandpa grandpa all sing along to so yeah it's been fun well my son the other day he texted me he goes mum mum I can hear Amber Lawrence at the chicken shop and I thought you were playing at the chicken shop and I'm like oh my gosh say hi I know, hi. I know. No, it was like, I know well, even all the um the grocery stores Woolies and Coles have got Aussie Aussie Christmas oh, playing okay. so I get lots of videos from people shopping to Aussie Aussie Christmas it's incredible you write so many songs how I just yeah mm. extraordinary I mean you play the guitar you sing you write there's nothing much you can't do Oh, there's a lot I can't do, Janie, of course. But the, the fun <laughs> thing about songwriting is you just never know which song is the one that's going to be popular. And, you, you know, you can labour over a song about the biggest heartbreak of your life and, you know, it means nothing. And then you write a song about an Australian Christmas and the whole of Australia is singing mm. it and you just you go, wow, that one took an hour to write. Maybe I need more, <laughs> less time spent. Oh, that's great. And um, obviously you, uh, you know, you head around the, the regions and yep. beautiful Australia and showcasing what we do see in regional Australia. Often, yeah. you know, you speak to people in the country and they say that they feel a little bit second rate, which is mm. certainly not the case. Mm. What do you hear when you're heading around the country? Yeah, well, I did this year I did 80 shows regionally in Australia. So I was out, um, you know, in the car to all parts of Australia. And to be honest, I think a lot of regional people feel really lucky that they live um, in these beautiful parts that aren't as busy as the cities or, you know, perhaps didn't have the strict um, rules that we had during lockdown. So I feel that that balance of feeling like they miss out on things is also um, uplifted by the fact that they actually feel really privileged to live in such beautiful environments. And I mean, the culture of regional towns now is incredible. Like mm -hmm. you can go anywhere in Australia and find good coffee, good food. So I don't know, the divide is definitely shrinking. So I've, I've certainly noticed that. Well, they certainly are lucky when they get to uh, the Tamworth Country Music <laughs> yes. Festival where you will be performing. Yes. And I believe it uh, drives in the, the whole festival there, 10 days, about 20% yep. of the uh, their annual economy. It's huge. Really, yeah. And um, you've got quite a few shows yeah. happening. Yeah, so we head up there about the 16th of Jan and it starts, I think, officially on the 18th, goes right through to past to the 28th. So there's your 10 days. And I'll be the event for the whole time with one major show, one kids show, and then lots of appearances throughout the week. And I hope we see you there. Yes, well, I think we might. So <laughs> we'll have to get there and we'll have a little bit of a dance. Have off, you been? Um, I've never been. Oh my I want to go. I so want to go. You're so going to love it. Um, we'll go there. And you've been on a cruise. Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a cruising country, a festival of country music. Um, so that was one week at sea, off to Numeria and back with 2,000 country music fans. And that is my idea of bliss. I don't know if it is yours, but uh, it was pretty incredible. Yeah, never say never. And um, <laughs> what else is on the agenda music-wise for 2024? So I'll be recording new music and look, it's, it sounds like Groundhog Day, but you basically get back in the car and drive back around Australia, fly back around Australia to take more music to, to more country music fans. And country music actually is just booming at the moment in Australia. It's just 
becoming so much more popular and mm. it's a really great time to be out there playing my music. Oh, good on you. It's always great to see you and congratulations on the continued success that you have and um, we love having you here on at Sky News and we'll see you more in 24. Well, I thank you because I think you do an amazing job here, Jane, oh, so thank you so much. too kind. Thanks so much, Amanda. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we do know each other. Yeah, no. <laughs>